Hi, we're the Hutchinson family, full-time travellers from the UK, currently living in Thailand. But how much does it cost us to live here? Join us as we go grocery shopping at one of Thailand's major supermarket chains. Hello everyone, welcome to the video today. It's a little bit of a different one. We are here at Lotus's, which is a massive supermarket here in Krabi, Thailand. And we're gonna show you how much it costs to do our grocery shop. Let's go! Woo! to your shopping? Yeah! What are you going to buy from the shop? I don't know, but I've got money. Livery, is there anything you want from the shop? I don't know, I'm just going to wait and see. Have you got any cash? Yep. Oh, so are you going to pay for the whole shop? No. <laughs> it's pretty insane in here. It's like a market, a food hall. Uh, it smells really, really good, but I think this is the downstairs. I think you go upstairs to the shop. We're going to have a little bit of a look round. So we have finally made it into Lotus's after going through some sort of maze of a mall that sold motorbikes, mopeds, cars, gold. It's just got everything in here, but we finally found the entrance to Lotus's so now we're gonna hop around and buy some things we usually would buy at home for our weekly shop. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just having a bit of a workout here in the Lotus gym section um, and I usually do buy a pair of dumbbells on the weekly shop. These are about 11 quid. Bargain. I have no idea still on the how much things are so I'm going to get my trusty phone app up so I can work out how much things are so these strawberries are 175 so they're, three, they're nearly four pounds for that four pounds I think that is too expensive so we're not going to be buying that today Chris has just pointed out that it just says where I'm standing, imported fruits. No wonder why it's so expensive. Let's see if we can find some local produce rather than extortionate imported produce. Do we want some dragon fruit? Yeah. Yeah? Let's just check how much it is then. So I think we're not at the importer. So 39 baht is 80 pence that goes in the trolley. Okay, I think we're going to get these lychee. When we first arrived in Thailand, the lady from 7-Eleven tried to sell me them and I said no. I think I'm going to get these though. I think it'll be worth a try. When you're in these countries, you've got to try these things. Oh, for God's sake. What is he doing now? Come on, this way. Oh. I bought this helmet. What do you think? Do you like it? milk we always need milk in the family for breakfast and my coffee that is 46 baht I do not have a clue how much that is so Olivia type that in the phone it is one pound two one pound two yeah so that's actually quite expensive for milk come across the eggs I think Olivia wants these ones they look a little bit funky inside I'm not sure if they're fermented or what they are but we're not gonna go for the Barbie pink eggs, but we will get some eggs because we do eat a lot of eggs. Um, and that's a look here. So normally at home, we'd just get the Audi own brand. So we're going for the Lotus own brand for 10 eggs, 10 large eggs, it's 56 baht. So how much is that? £1.24 £1.24, so a lot cheaper than at home. Since we've been travelling, we've been trying to have probiotics every single day, so I need to pick some up here. And I've got a little pack which we've been having. Now here, they're costing 37 baht. So Olivia, how much is 37 baht? 82 pence. Ooh, 82 pence is a winner. So normally down this aisle, we're down the frozen aisle. I normally get quite a lot of the girls' food in England down the frozen aisle. So your chicken nuggets, chips, pizza, all of that really healthy stuff. But 
since we've been traveling, we haven't actually had an oven. So everything here, they deep fry it. So I think it's a little bit unhealthy. We haven't actually ventured into trying the deep fried stuff, but there's some pretty good corn dogs here that I might venture and buy. So they're only 85 bats. How much is that? 80. One pound eighty nine. One pound eighty nine. Shall we try these? These are ham and cheese corn dogs. And I'll have to fry them myself, so I have to get some oil too. Let's put those in. Okay, so one thing that's different in Thailand than in the UK is that their meat is all out, like fresh meat is all out on ice and in coolers, whereas in England it's pre-packed. So I'm going to give this a go and buy some chicken. Um, we usually have about 500 grams and I think that costs about £3 usually. So I'm going to try my best to get 500 grams of fresh chicken breast. Wish me luck. So I think you put it on there. Yeah. Use these. Right, can I get this right? I'm going to put four in to go with to start. Let's see what we're weighing in at. Okay, so that's 216 ish. Yeah, about 216. So double that up. So I'm going to double that up and we're going to go for eight mini chicken breasts here. Checking the weight. Pretty good, 430. Yeah, let's go. 430 yeah. grams. So 430 grams of fresh chicken breast. It says here 34 bat 50. So how much is that, Olivia? 77 pence. 77 pence? Can't be. Well. That's what it says, 77 pence in the basket. There's a lot of oil, I need to buy some oil. I have no idea what the different oil is. At home I'd normally buy some olive oil, but I have no idea, some of this stuff is made out of very exotic stuff. I'm just gonna pick some up, I'm just gonna buy it. Olivia seems to have chosen that. So, Olivia, are we going with that one? Yeah. How much is it? 47. Right. And it's one pound four in English money. Um, right, so in England, before leaving the UK, buying half this size was about five pounds for us as a family. So for it to be how much is it? One pound four. One pound four pence is ridiculously cheap. No wonder why they deep fry everything. You can't go wrong with any noodles. So we're gonna grab some. There's always plenty to choose from in these shops. I like this one. Hot chicken, flavor ramen, habanero lime. Looks really good. It's 199 baht for five packs. What are we saying, Olivia? That's four pound 41. Four pounds 41. So that's less than one pound per pack. It's a bargain. It's going in. We also bought some like seasonings to go with our chicken. We've got a green curry paste. We've got like a, a chili and basil here and some coconut milk. These were all individually about 25 baht each, which is about 50 pence. Can't go wrong. Next up is pasta and it is 45. How much is that, Olivia? It's one pound. One pound, let's put it in the basket. All right, so Scarlett's got some pasta, so I better get some bolognese. This is plant-based meat, and it is 95 baht. So how much is that? Two pounds and 11 pence. So that is pretty expensive. So I think I'm gonna put that back and have a look at the others. Let's have a try with some of the prices then. I am gonna go for this one here for 75, which is over my normal price at home, and it's one pound. One pound 66. One pound 66, so that's quite expensive. At home, I'd get a Lloyd Grossman's for that, which is an expensive mate. But we'll go with it to go with the pasta.
So you can buy these massive sacks of rice for quite reasonable price. It would last ages. Um, but we've only got one more week here, so we don't want to buy one of these and then have to get rid of it. So we're going to go for a smaller pack. This is 54 baht, which is about £1.20, so pretty good. Um, but yeah, it would work out cheaper if you got the bigger bag. Looking at wine since we've been travelling, it's just been really over expensive. Now, in all of the 7-Eleven stores and everything, wine has been completely out of the question in Thailand. But we're going to go through and check how much this is. So the cheapest one that I can see is probably uh, Chardonnay, an Australian Chardonnay, and that is 345. How much is that? Seven. Pound sixty-five pence. Seven pounds. That is so much money. In the UK, I normally judge around five pounds, and if I'm feeling flamboyant, going up to a good nine-pound bottle. But over five pounds is extortionate, so we might just have to leave that. Beer, on the other hand, which is locally made, is really cheap. We have some Chang here. It's thirty-three baht per can. Olivia, give me the news. Seventy-three. 73 pence that's what that is so it looks like we're on the chance from now on so one drink that I can't live without is actually coke zero luckily they sell multi packs here like in the UK they're a little bit longer cans are but the 330 mils in the UK for six cans it would be around three pounds or maybe just a bit over that um, but this is 79 baht which is £1.75, so I think that is a mega deal. And lastly, to finish off, I need to keep on top of my extreme amounts of muscle that I've got. So I've just got three protein shakes, a three pack for how much, Olivia? £2.66. £2.66 for three protein shakes. In the UK, these are about £3 each, so that is a winner. So, shop done. In fact, they even gave us these little Winnie the Pooh bags. Can't go wrong. And we've got quite a substantial amount to last us. I think it'll probably last us a little bit over a week, some of the stuff, because we bought like bigger packs. And the total cost breakdown for that shop was 1,623 baht in total which equals to 36 pounds. So that is pretty cheap considering the amount that we got. And I'd say it is less than half the amount of what it would cost in the UK. So that has been our weekly shop, just ticked off. Shopping with three children isn't the least stressful thing to do ever. It's really, really hard to work out how much things are costing, what things actually are. But we've got it done. It's been done for a week now. We've got some supplies in the house. There's some snacks that hopefully won't just be devoured within two seconds. But all ticked off and I can't believe it's only come to about £35. Because normally our weekly shop is just shy of £100. So really, really pleased with that. So that's going to be it for this video. We hope you've enjoyed this one and you've found out a little bit of information about how much groceries cost in Thailand. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. We shall see you in the next video. Bye.